Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna show you how I take this bark that was left over from the Sycamore Tree Project and turn it into a really cool serving tray gift. Let's get it. All right, so I've got my uh, reusable mold set up. This is the size that I want, 11 by almost three feet. And then I've got all of the leftover bark from the Sycamore Tree Project. Uh, my Aunt Stacia and Harry uh, purchased from me and I wanted to make them a housewarming and thank you gift. I've got um, a week to get this done. So initially I'm gonna take all these pieces and coat it in some super clear tabletop resin uh, to make sure that it's all sealed. And then I'll put them on the other side of this mold to let them almost cure. And then she has navy blue cabinets. So I'm gonna do a base layer in here of like maybe three eighths of an inch of navy blue. And then we're gonna glue these down and we're gonna do a clear pour and then I'm gonna make a cool shape, um, kind of like a charcuterie board uh, serving tray. Let's get it. All right, so initially I wanted to use tabletop epoxy, but since right now it's pushing 96 in the shop, it's gonna be like 100 and something today, so. Um, this should set up actually pretty quick. I just want a penetration on all of the bark pieces. So I coated them front and back. Uh, use these cool little brushes I get from Amazon. I'll throw a link down below. Um, so yeah, in these conditions, I opted to use the deep pour versus the tabletop. But if you're you know, in the 60s or 70s, I definitely recommend doing the uh, tabletop versus this because this would take forever to even start to set up. So I'm um, gonna give this, I don't know, half a day, see where we're at. And uh, here in a second, we're going to pour the uh, base layer of navy blue. Okay, so the bottom layer is poured. It's about three eighths of an inch. Um, it looks black, but it's definitely uh, supposed to be navy blue. I don't know. Once it started thickening up, it almost turned black. So I think it'll still look cool in the side profile. Hopefully. Um, once it's all out of the mold and done, you can still see it as a blue color. But we're going to wait, uh, I don't know, half day or, or see how it looks here in a little bit. And then um, glue these bad boys down when this is almost cured. That way it kind of like adheres and sticks to it. And then after that, we're going to do the pour probably, I don't know, a quarter inch above the, uh, the highest surface of one of those guys. Stay tuned. Okay, we are four hours in and it is about 104 outside. Inside here, it's about 98. Um, and we are already starting to set up. We're not that deep. What is that, maybe half inch, three eighths. So a few more hours, and then I'm hopefully, the goal is to get all of these pieces here um, laid on top, kind of just randomly just before it starts to set. So as you can see, I got a leak because my dumbass didn't seal this that good. Um, it started to creep, so I siliconed it to the joint here, but should have just siliconed it all the way. Looks like a lot more than it is, but um, since we're starting to harden up, I think we'll be okay. So we'll keep an eye on it and uh, get ready to glue these things down here soon. Okay, we are early in the morning, about 1 a.m and it is just about i just uh tested it out super gummy setting up really good um i'm gonna start placing the pieces of bark randomly and uh we'll let it sit overnight get it adhered tomorrow we're gonna pull the clear Okay, we're all set. They're just laying on top. Some of them are actually sinking a little bit, but that's all right. That's how I'm gonna get my adhesion. By tomorrow, we'll be gummed up enough to do the top layer pour. And we're probably gonna do about, I don't know, three quarters of an inch or an inch, just towards about a quarter over the highest point of these guys here. I'm gonna do some brass work on the handle, just like I did with the charcuterie board. That way it matches all of her brass hardware in her kitchen. 
she's gonna have a really cool charcuterie wall and hopefully this complements it well. Okay, so it's the next morning. I've got four more liters mixed up. Everything is uh, all set up already and it's still a little bit pliable. Temperature in here is about 87 degrees. So the amount that I'm mixing up now is double from what I did yesterday. So we're really gonna push the limits of super clear. Uh, but so far it's looking super cool. All right, we're all poured, just degassed it. It looks cool, it looks like they're just floating in there. I'm gonna do the handle down here. I'm gonna let the bubbles um, dissipate over the next 30 minutes or so, then depending on the temperature this gets up to, I'm gonna most likely throw a fan on it. All right, we are about seven hours in and some bubbles are still kind of coming through, but it's setting up already. It's 106 today. <clears throat> so hopefully the bubbles kind of stop and that one coming through right there. Um, but what I decided I'm gonna do is I've got this really cool, I've got a few of these it's just solid brass uh, pipe rings that I ordered too many of for a project. That's going to be the um, handle. So I'm going to cut a hole with my shaper after this is cured and polish this up. I'll probably brush the outside. That way you can see it through the clear. Uh, so it should be pretty cool. So you've got a couple coming up there still. So I'm going to pop them. Keep you updated by tomorrow. Ciao. Okay, we're demolded. We're exactly just over 24 hours, probably like 26 hours. Um, because it's so hot, it's not fully cured, but it's it's pretty dang close. I'd say about 80%. So this is about three quarters of an inch thick. Uh, it's a little bit more than I anticipated. Uh, I did have a couple when it got hot. I had a couple spots. And I tried to dig out some uh, some of the bubbles and it was already setting up. So when I do the tabletop coat to, uh, to finish it off, uh, I'm going to hog these out a little bit with the bubbles and hopefully it fills it in just a smidge. Uh, it should be fine. Uh, the reason I'm doing a tabletop coat over the top of this is because Super Clear's tabletop epoxy is now FDA approved for direct food contact. So I'm just going to do the tabletop coat after I get the... Uh, a little hole hogged out and glued in and the shape I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it square or round over but it's looking pretty cool
All right, so looking pretty good. I ended up just dipping the uh, ring in the resin. Once it's all done, uh, this HDPE, it'll just pop right up and then I can uh, just sand all that out in the middle. All right guys, there it is. It is all polished up. I decided to polish it. Um, obviously I'll let my aunt know what I finished it with, but it just wasn't perfect. There was some like dust and divots, so I sanded it up and polished it. Um, you can see where the two spots, bubbles came up, but all in all, I really like the way the brass looks. Um, the tolerance was pretty tight, but not tight enough. You could see some bubbles in there, but that's really not that big a deal. Anyways, I'm gonna flip it over. I'm gonna put some rubber stoppers on it, and uh, we're gonna take it on a trip tomorrow. They have no idea that I'm doing it. like glass baby if you guys want to learn how to polish like this um, polish epoxy or 2k urethane or acrylic or pretty much any finish uh, I'll put a link below with my uh, polishing process Okay. So the biggest the biggest part is this is wider. So they had a they had to go real slow to get out of here. Okay, I can not hit. But they think I'm come off, are they? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, they should be good. Man. Okay. How do you take them off? I wanted to put you push that button on the back side. Yeah, okay, so I know, know yeah. what not to do. Yeah, don't touch. Don't, <laughs> yeah. don't press that. Don't press. You think it would be red, like? Yeah. Don't press it. Ready? Yeah. Just lean it first. Oh, it goes. Just right. kind of rolling it, rolling it, and picking it up. Aiden. Aiden. Yeah, you're good. Aiden. You guys are good. I sure hope this table's ever in move. <laughs> Heavy. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way we would have been able to pick this up. 
this is the part where you guys are going to have a hard time because he can't get up over this wall. Is that helping? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Big rock. Help, Jerry. We'll just set it down. Okay. Set it down, Lucas. Okay. Okay. Then we can push it towards you so I can get back to level ground. Yeah. Oh, let me get that. I know you guys did 98% of that. That's on video. You guys are ballers, dude. No, well, I was worried. I was, I was too. Yeah. <laughs> I was proud of you. Good job, man. Because this, this side, this ideally, level. is going to go, so it's going to have to go. Like that. Maybe we so this it. one needs to go first? Uh, yeah. Let's put so it on some cards. Yeah, that's right. right. So. Yep. Okay. I should have push up and push all the fingers. Yeah, the fingers. Get some right there. Push straight up. Let's let Lucas in first. Just hinging it on the on the sawhorses. Once it starts to try to go down to the floor, you guys have the suction cuts. Yeah, yeah. Just let it take it straight down the floor. Okay. All right, now you can move your cups. Oh shit! You got it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Kind of far away. Here we go. Now as it goes. It'll hit the table, we'll feel it hinging, and then we're just picking up on the bottom as something. We don't want it to lift it, we want to just let it fall, right? Just kind of let it roll. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think of this theory? Take them all off. Once we get the glass on there, then we can just kind of lift it shimmy up. Because yeah. these are, if they fall on the inside, then we're kind of screwed. You <laughs> I can hold it there if you guys want to get it close. Are you leaning it? Just allowing it to tip. Yep. And on. Okay, no, you can oh, um, I saw it. We'll get it. You gotta be careful. Here you can. Pull it. Pull it. Pull it. Yeah. Holy fuck. <laughs> you want to get it right? Who <laughs> shot? Big shot. That is fucking cool, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna just come back this way a little bit. Yeah. You should have definitely put like an H and S in the bar, like wood bar. In the like yeah. Yeah, like a knife bar. Like cool. <laughs> you still do it. Good idea. I got a knife in the drawer. <laughs> chisel, chisel. <laughs> You just saw the delivery of the table. Super stressful, but also super fun. It came out really awesome. I'm getting ready to give both Harry and Stacia the uh, bark resin charcuterie board as a gift and as a thank you. Um, so they have no idea. We're getting ready to go inside and give it to them. All right, guys, I got something to show you. Can you uh, come over to the table real quick? Yeah. Harry, are you taking a nap? Yes. <laughs> 
Sunday. All right, you got to close your eyes, though. Close your eyes. Really? Close yeah. Eyes? Yeah, just walk slow. Keep coming. Keep coming. <laughs> yeah, don't break the, the glass. Stop. All right, you're good. Stop. All right, open them up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's the is awesome. <laughs> what do you think? Oh my god, it's amazing. Yeah, so this is the bark off the actual tree. That is phenomenal. I saved a little see, bit of it. If you still look through the edge, you can see like right through it. That is so cool, man. Thank you so awesome. much. Love? Awesome. Love. Yes. And the brass matches the yeah, see? Brass. Brass, brass the kitchen. Brass the kitchen. Awesome. So, Thank you. here, do this real quick. Uh, hold it up to the light. Oh, in the window. In the window. And you can see it's actually blue. You oh, see yeah, you can see the aqua kind of. Yeah. Isn't that cool? Yeah, that is really nice, Matt. Thank you. Yeah, thank you guys. I appreciate awesome. it. Awesome. Love it. Love you can, it. You can use it as like wall art or charcuterie board. Or... I'm going to add to my charcuterie boards. Yeah. It's too nice to cut on. Yeah, don't cut on it, Harry. <laughs> I'm glad you like your flowers. That's good. Thank you, man. <laughs> Thanks, guys.